Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are a food lover as I am because today I will be talking about how to take good looking photos just of ordinary meal. So let's just jump right to the topic. Today I will be preparing chocolate soup and I will show you how to take good looking photos of this recipe. I will share with you some tips how I did these photos and you can use these tips when you have a food blog or just when you want to share great looking photos with your friends. On this photo shoot I will use just my camera and no additional lights. I will use daylight during whole photo shoot. First of all, prepare your space. I will be preparing soup in my kitchen and I will have to put away all the stuff I don't want to be seen on the camera. Then prepare your kitchen stuff and dishes, but choose properly. Think of style of your photos and choose dishes which will suit your photos the best. On this photo shoot I will be using pure glass in which I will be taking photos of my ingredients. I chose this type of glass because I have uh, several pieces of this glass and I want to unite the style of the photos so I don't want to have each ingredient in a different bowl. So I will use uh, liquid and solid ingredients in the same glass. I like to take photos from the start of the preparation. So first of all, I will take some photos of my raw ingredients. This way the viewer can get a better visual information about the ingredients which you use in your recipe. Now let's start with the recipe. I will be taking photos step by step how to prepare the soup. So I was thinking of the moment I will be pouring milk into the pan and I decided to use a kettle. And I tell you why. First of all, from the kettle, the milk will be pouring with a small flow compared to the glass. And second, pouring milk from the kettle will look definitely better on your photos. This kettle looks really nice and cute and I think it will complement the whole composition. Next step is to put the chocolate into the hot milk. I decided to put the chocolate with uh, my hands and not just put it from the glass. This way I think the photos will look much better. I think using your hands when preparing some meal can be really very personal and on the photos it looks really great. Don't forget to take photos while cooking your meal. Change angles and experiment. Also, don't forget to take detailed photos. Now when the soup is ready, let's make some cream for decoration. I will use this milk foamer. Now when we are ready and everything is prepared, let's make some final composition. This is the crucial point of the whole photoshoot. So I recommend to think first what composition uh, do you want to create, uh, what do you like, or you can even get some inspirations on Instagram, Pinterest and so on. So I will place these two wooden white boards on the table because I don't want to use the cover of my table. I want my composition to be in white and natural colors. I think these two boards will be enough and if there will be a little piece of table in the composition, it's okay for me. However, if you don't want to show uh, your table in the photo, you can cover it with more boards or if you don't have such uh, boards, you can also use some towels. I decided to add something romantic to my composition and it will be this music sheet. I just printed this music sheet and this way you can add whatever you want to your composition. I 
also like to use something from ingredients in my final composition. So I think the piece of chocolate is a great idea. I will also use dried fruits to my composition because the fruits will be also on the top of the soup and randomly uh, on the boards. Last step in creating my composition is to make a vertical background. I will be using this diary because I like its cover. It's in the soft colors. You see, I have just a small space here and I'm afraid when I will be taking some photos from front that there will be a white wall. I don't want this. So I will use these uh, white planks to cover the wall. Well, it's done and now take a look at the results. First of all, photos from preparation. I took photos of ingredients. Ingredients are in the same clear glass. I also took uh, detailed photos of chocolate in the glass and also in my hands. These photos are united because there is used just two or three dominant colors. When taking photos of your recipe and you have to pour the milk into the pan, you have to set your camera on the fast shutter. This time you will need somebody's help, so uh, somebody can uh, take photos or just pour the milk. I took photo of pouring milk from three angles and I still can't decide which angle is the best. Maybe you could help me and let me know down in the comments. I use the same technique with fast shutter when putting the chocolate into the milk. While preparing the food, I recommend to, uh, to choose one main angle and maybe two other angles. So when taking photos of food preparation, I like to stick just with few angles. This way you will have the same things on your composition all the time. The photos will be more consistent and united. Then I took some photos of making cream for decoration and soup itself. So you can see a few dominant colors which are used during whole photo shoot. When you don't want to use colorful dishes or you don't have colorful dishes uh, like me, you can use color objects in your background. And now let's take a look at the final photos. Also on final photos, I like to capture some action. So for example, pouring a cream or uh, some decorations on your soup. Uh, don't forget to take wide shots and close up shots and that's it. Your beautiful photos of food are ready to share. If you like the video and tips I prepared for you, hit the like button. In the end, I want to share with you my recipe of a chocolate soup. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.